Blessed be, and welcome to the Circle of Heka. I'm Lady Amaris. So a few people have messaged me and um, asked, I don't have holy water, uh, what can I use? Now, when you hear the word holy water, most people automatically think of uh, a uh, water that is being blessed by, by, a, a, by a priest. There are different forms of holy water. Um, many, many people who, um, who, are, who uh, work in certain, certain areas would use um, like Florida water or you know, flower water would be a, a form of, of holy water. It is a, a water used for blessing and, and consecrating and, and also used for, um, for protection and, um, and, and you know, whatnot. It is, is blessed, purified water. Now, uh, if you're a witch or for, for witchcraft, uh, you are your own priest or priestess. You are the priest or priestess of you know, the religion of the earth. Uh, and you can make and bless your own water. Now there are different types of water. You can have water that's been blessed under the moon. You can have water that, you, um, that you've taken from, uh, from a, a spring or you can um, you can have you know, rain water, all of these sorts of things. And it's, it's always good to have kind of purified water from, from, a, from a natural source. But if you can't um, get that, it's very hard for you get, to get that, say if you, you live in the middle of the city. And so the, the, the likelihood of you getting some spring water is, uh, is not going to happen. So you can use tap water. I would uh, maybe advise that you could try and purify that water as much as you can. Maybe have it sit um, out uh, in the in the moon um, light for a little bit, just to, to give it a little bit of um, energy, a little bit of bit of uh, bit of jazz. Even uh, putting a uh, a crystal in that water uh, just to uh, to give it a little bit more energy, because the energy of the water coming out of a tap that's that's probably been full of fluoride and other bits and pieces isn't going to be as potent as uh, the water that you have from a, from a natural source. But it's not something that you can't work with and it's not something that you, you, you can't uh, modify and change. So putting a, a crystal in there that's been charged, leaving it overnight, even um, if you can, having it under the, the light of the, the full moon. Uh, and that means that then that is charged, uh, charged water. Now, an easy way of making uh, holy water yourself. And you can either make it... Uh, as you go or you can make a, a larger amount of it uh, so especially if you're having some um, charged under the full moon you might want to have a, a larger amount of water especially if it's a, a specific moon that you want to have those energies with as well so what would happen is that you've got your water now wherever that's come from whether it's uh, from a, a uh, a spring or whether it is uh, from a tap and then you've uh, put a, a quartz crystal in there to give it a little bit of energy a little bit of life so what would happen is that you would have a um, if you have any tools um, you would use maybe your athema um, barring the fact that you you may not have any tools and it's not something that's mandatory you don't need those tools um, the best thing to do would be to to use your finger so you would uh, place your finger in the the water um, or you could put it on top it doesn't matter but a little bit of uh, you know, getting in there is fine now uh, you can do uh, some kind of banishing pentagram if you like uh, um, or you can just leave your uh, finger in there and you can visualize that your energy your you know, energy from your heart um, from your heart chakra is coming down down your arm down into your fingers down into the water and as you do that you can visualize that water becoming brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and any little bit of bit of darkness any bit of greeblies that you might um, you, know, you might feel or, or, or maybe even see depending on, on how your your um, your abilities are you would see them uh, just dissipate and go and that that so you can, uh, as you're doing it, you're feeling that energy. It, the water is coming brighter and brighter and brighter. It's almost like uh, liquid, 
liquid neon. Uh, you can see as like that glowing um, neon blue that you um, that you see in, in some signs. Um, so you can see that water is just glowing neon. And you can uh, say any words to the, the effect of, I exercise this water and I cast out any uncleanliness, any phantoms, any negativity. I cast out in the names of the most mighty ones. So mote it be. So you can see it can be quite easy, it can be quite um, quite quick. You don't have to have anything elaborate. And as I said, something that you've written yourself and something that you have a connection with, maybe the deity that you are connected with, is going to be more potent than something that you've just, um, you've just found off the internet. So the water has been exercised. Now the reason that we exercise the water or, or cast out any kind of negativity from the water is that water is a very receptive uh, element. Uh, we are made of about 80 to 90% water and that is uh, easy to, to impregnate information on it. So water is very easy to, to attract energy and um, it is it's easy to program that energy so water is is uh, quite receptive so with that it means that it um, any kind of you know thing that's that's floating around will be drawn to to the water which means that that water may not be as as pure and you want that nice pure water so you've filled it full of light you've exercised it you've used your words of power you have um, you've called on your your deities however you however you go and you've infused that water with light and it is uh, is wondrous and awesome now another thing that you would do is that you would have salt now the salt would be something that you would bless and again words to the effect of you know I bless this salt may it uh, uh, be pure and cleansed and uh, help me with my work uh, or words to those effect again I would prefer you to write something of your own instead of just uh, blindly following um, what someone else has said that's going to have a little bit more potency than than um, something that you just again just grab off the internet so again you bless this uh, salt now salt in in um, in itself is quite pure it's used uh, in protection a lot um, because of its uh, ability to um, uh, to purify it's used in uh, to, to make a, a ring of purification now, if you salt the earth too much nothing is going to grow so it is a, a way of, of, of you know keeping something um, keeping something at bay and keeping something pure we have salt in our bodies our bodies need salt um, to survive if we don't have enough salt then we are um, a, are going to die if we have too much salt we are going to die so it is about that that balance salt is needed um, for life but is also too much um, it will kill so we have a little bit of salt now you know you can say you just do three pinches of salt three is a nice number and oh we have salt everywhere that's just a nice ring of salt there we go <laughs> now we have the salt in here and we just swirl it around we can even do that with our fingers just swirling it around and mingling it so we have earth and we have water we have two receptive signs the repelling of the salt and the cleansing of the water so again, you can put uh, a prayer and infuse more energy into that water. You can pray on it. You can, uh, again, if you want to, you can infuse it with the, the light of the moon. Or if you have um, a deity that you're working with and you would like the deity to bless that water as well, then you can place that water with the, the statue of, of your deity or some symbol of your deity and, um, and leave that there for a little while so that that uh, has a chance to... Um, to, uh, to absorb the energy of your deity. So once that's there, then you have 
your holy water. This is blessed and consecrated with the energies of your deity or blessed and consecrated with the energies of the universe and uh, it is uh, programmed with the intent for purification, for, for protection. So you have your holy water, you can put a little um, stop on that and uh, use it for when you need it. So I hope that helps and I hope you um, start to um, understand that there is many things that you can make yourself, you don't need to buy them um, and holy water is definitely one of those things. So merry meet, merry part and merry meet again, blessed be. If you like this video and want to see more, please click on the links provided. If you think this witchcraft thing may be for you, please subscribe. Blessed be.